Yo, yo, yo! What is up, guys? Nick Nakai here. Let's Drift Media. Thank you for coming back to the channel. Please hit that subscribe button if this is your first time here. So today's episode, uh, kind of gonna be maybe a boring one, but I'm just gonna kind of explain why, like, I got off social media for a little bit. So um, yeah, let's get started. Uh, there's really not like a huge reason. Like, I'm not like going through anything like that or something serious. I was kind of just like for a long time thinking like, man, like I spend so much time on my phone and like a lot of people tell me like I'm always on my phone, even like if I'm out and about, I'm like more focused on my phone, maybe trying to record what I'm doing, like kind of living on my phone, not really living in the moment. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just delete it and see like how it affects my life. But not only that, um, a lot of the times to the I'd be so focused on like trying to reply to people's DMs and comments and stuff like that on the YouTube and the Instagram because when I get like notifications like it's always in the back of my head and like I just feel like the urge like I need to check my phone. So yeah it didn't matter where I was at like if I got a notification I would be like first instinct like I need to get on that notification and check it out. And if you notice too I think it's kind of funny because a lot of times maybe if you're out with people and like you notice half the people are on their phones. And it's like, what is everyone doing? Like, are you like hanging out or are you just like around people so you guys can be on your phones? So I know it's kind of silly, but if you do look around, you'll notice a lot of people really are like glued to their phone. And I wanted to unglue just to see what it was like. And I'm not knocking social media or anything. And I know it may sound stupid for a lot of people, but as a content creator myself, that's kind of like the responsibilities or pressures you start to feel because since more people want to see stuff you're putting out, especially since I promoted the Instagram saying I do daily stories and stuff, kind of just created the demand and I kind of put myself in a position where I was just like starting to feel more like a job. And I was like, you know what? I already have a job. Like I shouldn't be focusing on trying to put out everything I'm doing just to please everybody. I should just focus on what matters to me. So. Deleted the apps. Uh, I do check my YouTube comments pretty regularly on the computer, like when I get home from work, so I can still keep in touch with you guys. But just off Instagram, I'm sorry if any of you guys have like sent follow requests or messages. Um, haven't been on it, so when I do go back on it, I'll accept all of them and get back to you guys. So, yeah. And I felt like with having Instagram and being active on the stories, I know you guys really want to see what I'm doing at work. I felt kind of like I had to post, like I always had to be posting something, whether it be on my story or on the Let's Drift Media page. For like the longest time with Let's Drift Media, I was posting daily, like one to three times a day, just constantly posting. So it was always like kind of added stress, like, oh shit, I got to post, I got to post, like I got to post. And like if I wasn't posting, I was kind of feeling like let down, like, oh shit, like I'm letting everyone down, like I'm not like living up to the page. I kind of just realized like I got like obsessed with posting. So I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing, but I feel like half the time I was posting just to make it look like I was doing something or just to feel like I was doing something. And then when I would scroll down the feed, like say I wasn't posting anything, say like a Friday night and like people are out doing things, having fun, and I'm just like chilling at home and like I would be like, fuck, like I need to do something. And like it would kind of lead to a cycle, like me just doing something just so I can post it to make, to be like, oh, look, look at me, I'm doing this. I'm doing things or I'm doing something. So it's kind of silly, but I don't know. I don't even really know where I'm going with this. But anyways, how it's been so far, I deleted it. Now it's been like, two, three weeks maybe. And at first it was like really weird because I, like once I didn't have the apps, I realized how much I like go to my phone to check the apps, like mainly obviously Instagram and YouTube. But I would always go on there, like if I'm at work, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and just check the comments on YouTube or check how many views I got. Or on Instagram, I wanna check how many views and likes I got. And like just basically communicate with other people, maybe respond to the DMs and stuff like that since the YouTube has brought a lot more people to the Instagram page. And it was, yeah, so without it, I was just like, damn, like, I don't know what to do. Like, when I go to the bathroom now, I'm just like, like, oh, there's like no point of bringing my phone because there's nothing really to do on your phone without Instagram or YouTube, so. It was a little weird at first, but like as a couple days went by, I started to like 
not think about it as much and not worry about it as much. Uh, and then I started to notice like I felt like a lot less stressed because I didn't have to worry about like checking my pages and posting on there. So like my stress levels definitely went down and I felt, I feel right now even like so much less rushed. Like before, I don't know what, how it works, but like I would just always feel rushed. Like no matter what I'm doing, like I'm getting off work, I'm going home, like I felt like I was in a rush. Like I'm on my way to my girlfriend's house, I felt like I was in a rush. Like everything felt rushed. And now without it, it feels like super chill and not as rushed, which is very crazy to me. And it's crazy to think now because now almost three weeks in, it's like I don't even think about going on my phone. Like if I go on my phone, it's maybe to like do some research or reading on something I want to learn about, which is pretty cool. So I'm like making productive use of my phone while I'm on it versus kind of just on the phone bullshit and like wasting time. Like you technically are wasting time, but you're not because like if you're on the phone, just if you have nothing to do, obviously it's something to pass the time by. But it kind of is a waste of time because you're just half the time mindlessly scrolling like reading about gossip, like what the next hip hop artist is doing and stuff like that, what your friends are doing. And then also too, what I realize is like having social media kind of creates that fake sense of friendship. Like you could have all your homies from high school or something or whoever the fuck on your pages. And it's like, you feel like you're like connected and still really good friends just because you're like engaging and like maybe liking their pictures. But really you're not. So yeah, it's pretty cool because before I feel like I would always have like FOMO, like fear of missing out because I would see people doing things. I'm like, shit, like I gotta be doing something or like I'm missing out. And now without it, I don't even see it. So it's just taking off a lot of stress because now I don't feel like I always have to be doing something. Like if I want to get off work and just chill and play Call of Duty, like that's fine because I don't need to be posting or checking the feed and stuff like that all the time. So I'm not sure if anything I'm saying makes sense because I feel Kind of got lost with my train of thought right here. It happens a lot when I'm talking to the camera, but yeah. That's basically what I wanted to kind of talk about in this video. Um, it's probably pretty short. I'm sorry I missed last week's upload. I uh, wasn't really sure what to post and yeah. I plan on putting a lot more how-to videos out and stuff like that, but honestly, I've been getting out of work like at six, getting home at seven. It's dark and it's cold and I really don't feel like going outside in the driveway and working. So summertime comes, I'll probably start work wrenching a lot more at home. Other than that, uh, just what I've been up to, if you guys are curious, just going hard at work. Like right now, my main priority is go hard at work. I'm trying to learn as much shit as I can and get as good and fast as I can so I can make the most money that I can. So. That's just where my focus has been. I haven't really been into the drifting scene lately because I've been trying to not spend money on that and I've recently been paying a lot of money to get out of debt, those damn credit cards. So hopefully maybe watching this video, you might even think about giving it a try yourself to see how it affects your life. I recommend it. Yeah, I'm not saying you have to like completely delete your accounts and like go completely off the grid, but it kind of is cool to be off the grid even though I'm not really off the grid because I'm still posting YouTube videos but it's not as like on the grid as I was before if that makes sense but it's pretty nice I feel like I said just a lot less stress and rushed like just so much laid more laid back it's crazy so that's all I got for this episode sorry if it wasn't what you're expecting because I know I did miss one episode so you guys are probably hoping this would be a good one but that's what I got so Hope you guys are all doing good. Hope you guys kill it this week. Um, feel free to drop a comment with any questions, video suggestions you have. Like this video, share it with a friend, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace!